Art Basel started in 1970, and it was started by a group of Basel gallerists, and it quickly became one of the most important international fairs. Basically, it's the quality of the works that makes it so important. It's uh, one of the fairs with a very old and long tradition. Everybody said it's the one of the best art fair, prestigious. Then I think it's uh, Switzerland generally is a place, uh, as well talking about history, where you can uh, change thoughts. It's a very small country. It uh, has a very big number of collectors. Collectors going all over the world and buying things. Uh, you have a very good number of galleries working internationally. So I think there are different components why uh, Art Basel still is, and I guess will stay as well, uh, the most important art fair. Everybody's looking for something, searching for something, perhaps not to decorate the wall, but to perhaps understand a little bit the world they are living in, or to have more contact to the, to the city they are living in. The artwork is a good, good way to understand a little bit the world. Art Basel studied for a long time the possibility of doing a third show in Asia. Asia has Asian market and the European American market is American market. Now it starts to exchange, more uh, get together. China will be a substantially important player in the whole system, political, economical, etc. And along with that, it's for me very obvious that people get more and more interested in China and in China with the art scene. So finally, especially the Basel has decided to, to work with uh, Hong Kong. When I saw what Weiwei was doing, I was, that was the first time when I was convinced, okay, here is something which has the potential for the future to play an important role in the international art market. The artists, they document a little bit their own life, and these two artists, they, together with the camera, they found a way to, to kind of take possession of the city. Living with the camera, documenting with the camera, trying to find a life with the camera. Nowadays, it's very hard uh, if you want to do so, to uh, figure out immediately if you look at an artwork, is it from an Asian region, is it from a Chinese artist, or from a Western artist. So that's changed a lot. Of course, it is still the mentality, the cultural background is different, which gives another sensibility. We never see things directly because we believe and things is much richer than what it, you can see or you can feel. It's very clear that Asia will be one of the areas where a fantastic amount of growth in many, many economic industries will take place. And usually what that means is that more and more collectors develop. We also think that intellectually, Asia has a lot to offer and that we're only beginning to see the type of cultural exchange which in the future will lead to some very, very interesting possibilities. Mm -hmm.